Hi, my name is Nina Ferrari. I'm a graduate student at Oregon State University. I'm studying how bird occupancy and microclimate vary vertically across forest structure. Maybe not that long. I'm looking specifically at forest songbirds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Orange crowned warbler. My research is important uh, in understanding how birds move throughout forest canopies under different climatic conditions. Uh, we understand that old growth forests have a microclimatic buffering effect, particularly in the understory. We don't really know how that translates up into the canopy of a tree. And so this research will help us better understand how birds behaviorally adapt in a changing climate. Um, I'm hoping to inform people who are interested in using automated recording units to detect birds. So I'll be gathering some information on how well those systems work to detect birds uh, vertically, not only horizontally. Today, I'm gonna to be climbing this Doug fir uh, to check on my sensors and collect some data. Basically to get up high in these trees you have to be able to climb them and a lot of people think of tree climbing as just you're kind of free soloing up branches which is maybe what you did as a kid but not the safest way to do things in a scientific setting. So what we did with this tree is we took a crossbow and a bolt and we shot a line over the tallest branch of the tree and we pulled that line through and attached a rope to it. And then we ascended up that rope and installed a pulley system at the top of the tree to run the rope through that. And so that kind of sets up our permanent ro uh, tree rigging system. And so then from there, we can come back to the tree, rerun the rope through that pulley system, and essentially use a like fixed line single rope system to ascend up the tree. So what you'll see here in this video is me using um, my chest roller and my knee ascender, my foot ascender, and a handle ascender to climb up this rope, um, and then I'll be stopping at each station along the way to tend to the equipment. I gotta come out at least three times, one to install the equipment, once to take down the equipment, and once in between to swap batteries. I'll leave them out for the duration of the bird breeding season, so early May through mid-July. This is one of my platforms that I install throughout the understory mid soaring canopy at the tree. Um, it's fitted with a song meter, micro, which records bird songs at preset uh, recording times, and then a hobo, onset hobo pendant temperature sensor that's recording temperature at 20 minute intervals. And so right now we're going to change the batteries and swap the SD cards of the song meter micro and download the data off of the hobo. So in here we just have three AAA batteries, sorry, three AA batteries, a micro SD card, and a desiccant. And so first thing I'll do is swap out the batteries. And so this is what I'll have to come out and do every couple of weeks um, as the SD cards fill up and the batteries drain in order to keep collecting continuous data. So this is sort of like the equipment maintenance phase of my research. This is the part that's always a little bit nerve wracking because this is all your data on this little thing and you're really high off the ground. And so then the last thing I'm going to do with this is sync it to the configuration app on my phone so I can offload the recording schedule onto the song meter via Bluetooth. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the temperature data off of the logger and I'm going to use this shuttle which will store the data until I get home to my computer and I can offload it there. 
Okay. And that's all the data I'll collect for today. Uh, and I'll do the same thing at the next station, and then we'll be ready to descend. I love birds and I love forests and it's a really special opportunity for me to be able to study how birds adapt to changing conditions in forests and the the fact that I get to tree climb is just the cherry.